Hey guys, Donnie here, and you're watching Big Drone Flyer 77. Hey, today I got the Sharper Image. This is the RC Submarine Underwater Explorer, guys. So when we come back, I'll have this thing unboxed and let's take a look at it, and then we'll go take it for a little run in the swimming pool. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me today on Big Drone Flyer 77. Hey, Donnie here, and today I have the little submarine. This is a little uh, remote control RC submarine. So uh, this is from Sharper Image, and uh, I picked this one up over at TJ Maxx, which also is known as Marshalls in different parts of the United States. Uh, picked this up for under 20 bucks. I thought it was pretty cool looking. I've always wanted a submarine when I was a kid used to have different ones where it was just a little battery operating you just let it go and it go into the water but uh, this one here is a little remote control which is only uh, 49 megahertz uh, so it's not going to have a very long range uh, I think it's about 15 feet and I believe you can submerge this underwater to about two and a half three feet so it doesn't go very deep it's just for the pool just to have a little fun with with the kids and stuff so I'm a big kid at heart so I wanted to test this thing out so I picked it up uh, this thing has little servos in here for each motor to be able to uh, move it up and down so that way you can submerge underwater or re-emerge above uh, the controller here is pretty basic there is no steering wheel or anything once you turn it on the props will start going and they'll start going forward then you can go and turn right or left uh, up is to um, come back up out of the water to emerge back up and then down would to, would be to submerge under the water so uh, the controller here is real simple um, it's got a 9 volt battery which none of the batteries are included so uh, this actually has a rubber seal around here to make it splash proof. This is not waterproof, so you don't want to take the controller down in the water with you and don't put it under the water or you will wreck it. Um, it does come with some instructions to let you know how to uh, adjust the ballast weight. That way you can get this thing adjusted right um, in the water. It tells you what batteries and how to how to put the batteries in, things like that. Uh, which this is just really basic it's just got uh, four double a's this tail twists off and you got this little cup that unscrews off and you can see you got the rubber ring around here to keep the water out and then you just put uh, four double a's in there you guys and that's it so you're probably not going to have a whole lot of run time with this i wish it was uh you know i wish it was a uh, lipo battery but you know it's it's just only a kid's toy so so, uh, anyways, let me put this back on here. Let's get this tail back on right here. Make sure everything's lined up. And then you line it up and then twist. Line up those two arrows right here. One's dark and one's uh, just the plastic yellow color, but it's right there. Line that up. This is just a little uh, tail propeller, which has no motor. Um, you got your on and off switch. is actually up here, so you just push down and the blue light comes on that means it's on it's got a little LED light in the front which is pretty cool let me shut that back off um, oh on this too they give you some weights give you little ballast weights here they give you six of them so what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually use your fingernail or you can use like a butter knife or a or like a penny you're gonna pop this open it's kinda tough to get open all right, so you want to be careful you don't lose this little ring here that popped out when I when I opened that cover because it's kind of hard to take off. So that just goes right back in there like so. And then I opened up the little pack of these ballast weights. They give you six of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put probably about four of them in there for now and see what it does. I'll put two in the front and then I'll put two in the back. And then I'll adjust it to see you know if that's going to bring it to that periscope level or not let me put this back oh, put this back in here slide that ring in there get this thing lined up all right so make sure i put the cover on the right way turn that back again that's probably why you want to use a 
probably why you want to use a uh, penny or a or at least a uh, let me turn it the other way that's why okay so you probably want to use like a little penny or something or or a butter knife so that way you can get this all lined up and because that ring keeps coming off right there and it keeps there we go okay so twist it like that it's ready to go so i'll test that out see if it brings it to that periscope level where it needs to be um, if not then i'll add or subtract some of the ballast weights out of there but anyways guys this thing looks pretty fun i'll take the action camera underwater and we'll see what it does underneath the water um, like I said, it's just a kid's toy. It's just going to be something fun for the kids to let them mess around with this summer in the pool. So let's go give it a shot. Let's go take it to the pool. We'll be back. All right, you guys. Hey, I'm out here with the Sharper Image little uh, submarine. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on by pressing down the periscope. All right, it just came on. Let me turn the controller on. Controller's on. The red light's on, meaning that the, the props are ready to go. So gonna first do a drop in to the pool all right here we go guys let's set it in the water all right there it goes so all you got to do is just go and press the button here let me bring it up by pressing up let me turn it now so what it does is it stops one of the motors there we go Oh, it's diving down again. Let me bring it back up by holding the button up here. Let me turn it. That's not too bad, you guys. Not bad for kids right here. Let me try to turn it the other way. All right, let me get in the pool and see what it looks like when it goes under. I'm going to press down. There it goes diving under. We have it come back up, turn back over this way, bring it back to me. Alright, I'm gonna go take a shot in the water and see what it does. It shut off the controller and it stops the submarine. So let me go ahead and pull this guy out for a minute. Alright, let me put this camera in the water protective case and I'll be right back you guys.
All right, you guys, hey, I got the waterproof uh, cover still on the camera. So right now I'm turning on the submarine by pushing in that periscope. And I'm going to show you how to use the controller a little bit. So I'm turning on the power to the controller. And I'm just showing you how you press to the left and you hold down and it'll make it submarine turn left and then hold down to the right and it'll turn the submarine to the right. So this thing's actually pretty fun, you guys. And it works pretty good, to be honest with you. I was surprised for uh, under a $20 toy. It actually uh, works pretty well. Right now I'm pressing the down button to submerge it by holding it down. And I'll submerge the submarine. And as you can see, it works It works pretty good. Uh, the only flaw is that it don't uh, stay at an even motion under the water. So you got to keep pressing down and up to kind of keep it. Uh, going straight underwater so but uh, other than that the thing's working pretty good I'm holding the button again now if you shut the power off it will shut cut the motors off so that way you could stop the submarine from going forward because there's no forward or reverse it's only when you turn the power on that's what causes the submarine to start to move forward so and I'm just showing you again the the dive and uh, re-emerge back up here showing you can move underwater left and right so all right so anyways just wanted to show those functions really quick you guys um, you know I picked this thing up at TJ Maxx also known as Marshall's so uh, you could pick one up today I'm sure they got them at Walmart as well so uh, I would just check online, see if you could find one. If I have any uh, links, I'll put them down in the descriptions, guys. I sure appreciate you watching. And, hey, if you're new to the channel, please hit that uh, like and subscribe button. Definitely hit the notifications for new things coming to the channel. Like always, guys, God bless, cheers, and happy diving.